Hey guys, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm putting myself through the ringer here because I glanced at my eyeshadow palette collection and I have pulled out the 10 eyeshadow palettes that I would keep if I could only keep 10. This is a little bit torturous here, but we are gonna go ahead and uh, this could change day by day, but as of today, right now, if I had to get rid of all my eyeshadows and only keep 10, these are the 10 that I would keep. And if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking, I love makeup, I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K-Bella fam. But why don't we go ahead and jump into the video. <laughs> Now this video is also super exciting because this is in collaboration with Sam from Glam by Sam. I am gonna go ahead and have her channel and her video listed down below. But if you like my style of content where we're like just chatting about makeup, then you will love her channel as well. We have very similar like talky styles. You know, I feel like there are some people that you go to for tutorials, some people that you go to for straight product reviews. Sam and I are kind of like a mixture of everything. Like we just love makeup and we love talking about it and we, we like to talk about all of the things. So like I said, if you enjoy my channel, you will definitely enjoy her channel. Another really amazing thing about Sam is she is from the Netherlands and she films in English and English is her second language like I have a hard enough time with English and that's my only language so anytime I come across youtubers who film in English and that's their second language like I just have a whole new appreciation for them so go check out Sam's video go send her some love tell her I sent you but now why don't we go ahead and talk about my eyeshadow picks so I have to say, this this video was like a bit challenging, like kind of challenging, but there were some eyeshadow palettes, and I'm sure you could guess where like right off the bat, like obviously I knew I was keeping it. Like Natasha Denona Glam Palette, how many times have I raved about this eyeshadow palette on my channel? Like obviously. Obviously I'm keeping this one, especially too since it's one of my, if not my, most expensive eyeshadow palette in my collection. This is a $65 palette by Natasha Denona, and I love this eyeshadow palette. I feel like the quality is amazing, the mattes are super blendable, the shimmers give you like a bam without having a ton of fallout, and even though like I consider myself a warm toned lover and more into warm tones, but every now and then you need something to cool you down. You know, like you could do everything from like a simple eye look to a very like smoky, deep, dark look with this palette. So even though it's a neutral, it's very versatile. You see this in like every, every single palette video that I mentioned, but definitely my Natasha Denona Glam. Now, another one that I knew right off the bat that I would keep it, and it's very different from the Natasha Denona Glam palette, but it is the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes today, which is the Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels. Now, this was in collaboration with Mel Thompson, and I know that this palette is kind of hard to get, but I don't think that it's limited edition. I think like anybody who wants to get it, like Sydney Grace is going to keep stocking it. You can get your hands on it, but just look at this palette. Like, could it have been more different than the Glam palette? So here's the thing with this palette. It is very colorful when you first look at it with like the pop of green, the pop of purple, the orangey shades, but at the same time, you still have neutrals. Like you have some neutrals here. Fire Butts, it's a green shade. It's what's on my lid and it does pull green, but I feel like it's a more wearable green than like this lime green and it kind of shifts. It looks like more of a toned down green because I have this shade right here in Tree Hopper and Scarab in the outer V to create more of like a neutral look. But if you take the purples or the green or even this like orange shade, it like fire butts can kind of transform. It's a little bit of a chameleon, but you do still have like other pops of neutral. And I just feel like this palette is so versatile, but it's also so unique in my collection. And even though I am a neutral lover and I tend to reach for neutral tones, when I want something a little bit different, I find myself going for the Tiny Marvels palette by Sydney Grace. 
Now another like staple neutral palette for me that I go to time and time again is the eyeshadow palette that I brought to Las Vegas with me, the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. This was a palette that I wanted like literally since it released, but I just picked it up in 2020 and this has been a go-to palette for me. Not only is it just like a neutral lover's dream, but these three shimmer shades are like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, they're amazing. They are so pigmented and so vibrant, and they really just pop on the eyes. I just love those three shimmer shades, and you know, the mattes are super blendable. I basically can create like a full look with this eyeshadow palette, and then if you're feeling like a little frisky, you know, you have these two. They look very pigmented in the palette, this cold brew and double shot, but honestly, when you blend them out, like they are very wearable color shades. So if you're a neutral lover, definitely think you should get your hands on this one. And if I could only keep 10, oh, I am holding on to this bad boy. Another palette that you guys hear me talk about a lot. Now, part of me is like keeping this palette for like nostalgic reasons, but the other part, I mean, I think it's a really good palette. This is the ColourPop Lemoncello palette. Again, another palette that I have raved about and raved about and raved about on my channel. It, I feel like it might look a little basic when you first glance at it because you do have some neutrals, but it is a pretty colorful palette. You have this pop of blue and this green shade. This like gold shade pulls very yellow. Amalfi pulls much more of like a yellow orange shade. And then you have like Fly Girl and Easy Peasy, which are like a little bit of duochrome shades, you know, like some pops in there. And you can just create like a wide variety of eyeshadow looks with this palette. And I also feel like this formula stands out from ColourPop. Like this does not feel like you're you're gonna see a few ColourPop palettes in here, but this formula stands out from the others. I just feel like they really nailed it. You have a mirror in here, you have a magnetic closure, like the, the shades are blendable, there's great pigmentation, and overall, <laughs> I do love it for nostalgic reasons, but I do think it's a great palette in general, and it's definitely one that I wouldn't want to let go of. We will stick with ColourPop since we're here, and another palette, the next two are a bit smaller, but another palette that I would want to hold on to is the Mandalorian palette, the Child palette, the Baby Yoda palette, whatever you call it. I am a neutral lover, and I stick to neutral shadows. How many times can I say that in this video? But I feel like greens are a very wearable color for someone who is intimidated by color. You do have some neutral shades down on this end, but I really like to reach in this for the green shades. I really love the Sip and Soup shade. This shade right here, Little Frog, it looks like there are chunks of glitter in it or flecks of glitter, but it shows up as a matte on the eye. So I really like to use this quad right here to create a really nice eye look. I also do really like this Right Hand Mando shade. It's almost like a silver with a hint of green. You do have this shade right here in Precious Cargo, which I don't really use because it's a super shock shadow and I don't love that formula but overall this is a great small like nine pan eyeshadow palette it's very easy to store in my collection but it's my go-to for green looks so I'm keeping it on the other hand another smaller palette that I would definitely want to hold on to is the ColourPop that's taupe palette I really enjoy this eyeshadow palette as well you do have more like cool tone taupey shades, you know, that's taupe, in this eyeshadow palette. But I also really find taupe shades like super wearable on a day to day. And with this palette, it's kind of like quick and easy for me. Pick one of the matte shades on the top, throw a shimmer on the lid, and I can create like a two shadow eye look and like get out the door really fast, which I don't think happens anymore because I have a toddler, but <laughs> ideally, it helps my makeup run a lot quicker. I also really like this shade right here in Constrictor. I was gonna say Confucius and I knew that was wrong, but it almost came out. This shade in Constrictor really gives you like a deep vampy vibe, while these two shades right here 
in cold blooded and snake eyes are a little bit lighter and kind of give you more of like a bright look. Again, I don't really use slated because it is a super shock, but if you don't mind that formula, you may love that one as well. So I'm kind of into the tinier palettes and this is definitely one that I reach for. It gives me similar vibes to the glam palette. I don't by any means think that they are dupes for each other, but they have similar vibes. So if the Natasha Denona is a little bit out of your price range, but you still like that color story, and you want to try more of a color story similar to the glam, then you may enjoy the That's Taupe palette. I am sad to say that this next eyeshadow palette you can no longer purchase, and that's part of why I want to keep it. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. Now, full transparency, this is not an eyeshadow palette that I reach for very often. Yes, I hit Pan and Fifth Avenue, but I find that the ABH shadows are a little bit softer and they're honestly a little bit easier to hit Pan on. The shade that I love the most, oh, I hit Pan on Marina too. I don't know if you can tell that. But the shade that I that I really love the most and that I feel like stands out in this palette is the Bronx shade. Is it a shade I reach for often? No. Is this a palette I reach for often? No. It is a little bit on like the deeper, darker side for someone with such fair skin like myself. But I really love this Bronx shade. It's like a beautiful olive, like very wearable if you're intimidated by color. And this palette is limited edition. So because I love the Bronx shade and because it's limited edition, even though you can't get it anymore, this is definitely a palette where if I kind of had to scrap everything and like start over or just keep these 10, like I would want to hold on to this one. I would also want to keep my BK Beauty True Beauty eyeshadow palette. I got this one at the end of 2020. This is the first eyeshadow palette from BK Beauty. And again, this is like my color story, okay? I'm pretty boring. I'm pretty basic and neutral. I am a teacher, so I mean, I play with makeup on the weekends, but the, the makeup that I'm doing at 5 a.m. before I go to work is very like simple and basic, and this eyeshadow palette does that for me. You have these very creamy, blendable matte shades. Then you have these nice satin finishes. Now, these shimmers aren't going to give you a pop like the Sydney Grace or a pop like the Latte palette. They are more toned down and more of a satin finish, so if you are someone who has like textured eyelids or more mature eyes or like me I struggle with eczema on the eyelid satins are a little bit more flattering for those days because although they don't stand out as much they don't emphasize that texture you also have this fun shade right here Kate and I saw Lisa J the owner of BK Beauty mentioned that you can take Kate and put it on top of any of these shades and you get like a little bit of a purple tint so I really like to do that from time to time these shadows are super blendable super creamy they're very soft you have to be careful with them, but I would definitely want to keep this in my collection. Okay, we only have room for two more, and they are from the same brand, and they are also some of the newest palettes to my collection. So when I was initially like brainstorming this video idea like months ago, I didn't have these on there, but I literally was sitting in front of my eyeshadow palettes, and I just found that even though these are new, these are the two that I would want to keep in my collection. So first up is BH Cosmetics Amalfi Palette. You're probably not surprised because this is a neutral eyeshadow palette. Again, I've been to the Amalfi Coast, so it is definitely like a nostalgic palette for me. You have some great artwork, which makes me think about my time there, but really it is the eyeshadows for me. The BH Cosmetics formula I feel like has improved over the years. I'm really enjoying the palettes they're putting out. I love the pigmentation. I don't get a ton of fallout. And I just like the variety of shades in here. Are they neutrals? Yes, but you can get deep and vampy down here. You can get rose gold right here. You can stick with more of like your traditional like champagnes and oranges right here or golds down here. You do still have a variety even though it's a neutral shade. This has been the eyeshadow palette that like as I've been going back to work, I've been reaching for this one. So even though this is the newest in my collection, it still is one where I just, I'm not willing to give it up. If I have to give it up, I don't want to. I want to keep it in my collection. The other one from BH, because I said they're from the same brand, so the other palette if you guys wonder what I'm doing down here, I'm taking out the little plastic things. I keep them all. But the other BH palette that I would want to keep in my collection 
is the Avocado Toast Palette. I really enjoy this one. It is such a fun eyeshadow palette and it has some neutral tones with pops of color. So pinks, those are more wearable for me. You have a few pops of neutral shades. Lemon Pepper, it is more of like a yellow green, but it's still more on the neutral vibe for me. Avocado, super cute eyeshadow shade to put like on the inner corner or to highlight your brow bone. But then you have like these fun olive green shades. And down here, y'all, I did three looks with this palette and I used like these shades down here for a look and I got so many compliments on it. Blues are not shades that I reach for often, but I got I had so many people telling me that that eye look was their favorite and they really loved it. So this isn't a palette that I reach for like on a day to day like some of the others, but it's still one where if I'm feeling like I want to do something different, if I want a little pop of color, but it's still like wearable in my neutral lover eyes, then this is the palette that I'm going to reach for and I just love it. And that is going to do it for this video. These are the 10 eyeshadow palettes that I would keep like today. It, it may change. Like if I were to film this again in December, it'd probably be different. But today, here in August, these are the 10 eyeshadow palettes that I would want to hang on to if I could only keep 10. So I would love to know your thoughts down below. I would love to know, would you keep any of these or any of these ones that you would like kick to the curb. I want to know your 10 picks in the comments. But also I want to give a special thank you to Sam from Glam by Sam for collaborating with me. And I'm going to be watching her video right now. So if you haven't seen her video, head over there now. If you are new to her channel, if you like my channel, definitely subscribe. You will enjoy her. She is so fun. But thank you, Sam, for collabing with me. If you came from Sam's channel, hello, welcome. I hope you had fun here. I just, I just like to talk about makeup. That's it. So if you like to talk about makeup, this is the place for you. I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and stay. That way I can see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Da-boom, 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 da-boom.